Hello everybody. Uh, I just wanted to uh, show off and talk about the new product by Snaggletooth Tactical. They are the makers of the Snaggletooth MF, as you can see here on this uh, Lynn Thompson version Voyager. It's a uh, pocket deploying mod that you can put on uh, most knives that have removable thumb studs. Uh, originally with cold steel in mind, but there are plenty of other knives aside from cold steel uh, that you can use this really cool waveable um, thumb ramp slash pocket deployer on. So that's that was their first product. And uh, I actually spoke with the uh, man behind the Snaggletooth MF, Rob Penna, on the Knife Junkie podcast number 16. And also he came on uh, just this past week uh, to talk about this new product. Uh, the new product is called the Cog Ring. That's right, the Cog Ring. And it is made specifically for the uh, large, or I'm sorry, the medium, I'll just say the four inch Recon One. There is the extra large Recon One, and then there used to be the small Recon One, the three inch, they don't make that anymore. And then there's the micro Recon One. So this does not fit on any other knife but the four inch Recon One, the, mo the most common of the, uh, of the species, or genus, I guess. Uh, so here, it is a, knife pull so that people who carry their recon ones with deep carry pocket clips can uh, easily remove the the knife from the pocket and obviously as you can tell it's also a karambitizing mod it turns this into sort of a karambit so i am going to show you how this thing goes on i've never done this on camera so uh it might be an utter disaster but something tells me it won't be because I think it's pretty easy to put on so uh, first we'll start here now on the recon one these extra uh, pocket clip screws on the other side are actually structural so you're gonna want to remove these and uh, I'll try to yammer while I do this because uh, you know I'm sure you want to hear my voice. I just love the sound of my own voice. You know, you know some people like that? And there you sit and you say, yes, I do. And I think I'm listening to one right now. All right, let's, all right. There we go. Seem to be in there pretty tight and Loctited. Now, you don't have to be a karambit, uh, um, you don't have to train with a karambit to use this. Uh, if you want to use it as a karambit like a weapon, then uh, yes, of course, you do have to train. But um, in my short interview with Rob Penna on the uh, on the most recent Knife Junkie podcast, number 23, I believe, uh, he discusses how he was originally thinking of this as a just a knife pull, like a, um, a fixed lanyard or, or fob. Let's see here, this is a, a T10 up here at the pivot. I just ordered uh, a whole set of Weha. Weha makes the best um, Torx drivers. And uh, I went to Nick Shabazz's channel to just to make sure, just to see what he got, because he is a fastidious individual indeed, and, and a... Um, and an engineer. So I wanted to see what he uses, and he does use Weha, and so I clicked through from his video uh, to uh, to his Amazon um, affiliate link, and I have so I have a whole new set of Weha knife um, Torx screw uh, Torx screwdrivers coming to me. I'm very excited about that. Yes, the little things we knife people get excited about, but uh, you can never have too many tools. That's what I say. And that's what she says. All right, there we go. I should really have a little cup here, but this this little uh, DLT trading towel will have to do for now because that's about as far ahead as I thought. Okay, I'm gonna. All right, do this side. Let's see. Let's start here. I had to stop to think, do I really need to remove these? But I'm pretty sure I do. Here we go there. You take apart enough knives, you kind of start forgetting what you need to 
remove. I recently got a really awesome uh, um, uh, micarta uh, slab for this 630, and all you have to do is pop doop, 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 three screws out, put it on, and you're done. This is a little more complex because you're dealing with the um, with the lock spring and uh, and 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 the like. So we're going to go on this journey together. I say that a little sarcastically, I don't know, for some reason I'm really despising the use of the word journey. It seems to be everywhere. Everyone's going on a journey. And, uh, you know, I'm like, I'm still here. I'm not going on a journey. Epic was another one that drives me nuts. Epic. Everything's epic. Oh yeah? Is, is everything a big long poem? Is that what you're saying? Epic, epic, epic. Tired of it. Okay, I'm showing my age. I'm an old fart, what can I say? All right. So yeah, these, uh, the, the um, pocket clip screws are structural. Oop, this thing just popped out. Yeah, baby. Okay, so that was the spring just revolting and, and letting go. All right, let's do this. It's gonna take a second to kind of get this apart. This is fit together very, very nicely. Hmm. All right. I just need to come over here to my handy dandy tool bench. And I'm going to do this very, very carefully because I don't want to scrape any DLC off of this blade uh, in any spot. So I'm going to do it right here. Don't cringe. I can hear you cringing. Okay, there we go. It's coming. It's coming, I swear. Truth be told, I have done this once before and uh, the, the piece goes in quite nicely once you have the, the damn knife apart, but the knife is a bit uh, is stoutly built. Okay, let's go. Here we go. So this is the spring that holds this in place. That is the backspacer. And then this is the, uh, the rocker or the lock bar. All right, geez, what a mess. What a mess I made. All right. So this is going to fit right here, and uh, best to, I'll put a little lube in there, oh, so like all, like most cold steels that I've taken apart, you have a uh, Nylatron washer, and then a, and then a uh, Phosphor Bronze washer on both sides, and I think, um, so that's kind of how it's always been, but now these these cold steels are opening, these, these back locks are opening with a single flick without any wrist, unlike older cold steels. So I'm not sure what that's due to. They haven't changed up the washer situation. Uh, I wonder if it's the lock tension. I'm not sure. All right, so let's take this pin out of the, uh, out of the backspacer and anchor it here. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I've had a song stuck in my head for days, and now, now I can't get it out. And it's that song, Cars. There in my car, I feel safest of all. You know that song. It's the only way there. I do apologize. I'm going to shut up right now. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now, from the back side, I'm going to put these screws in to sort of keep it in place on the back side. There we go. We don't really have to. There we go. Oh. 
Uh oh, I think I feel it cross threading. Oh shit. All right, hang on. Let me get this. Let me do this one first and see if I can right the wrongs of the past. Okay, that's in there. Nicely and neatly, as my grandma would have said. And let's do this one here. See, uh, the fit on this is nice and tight. And uh, that's a good thing, especially when you're dealing with something that you're attaching your, your knife to. Okay, so let's get the blade in there. Now, you'll notice that this, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that's all off camera. You'll notice that this uh, follows the contour of a tanto with that facet, but it will also fit a, um, a clip point, or if you have the drop point, it will accommodate that, so worry not. Worry not. Okay, so that's where the lock bar goes. This is where the... spring goes. If I cut myself on camera with this very, very sharp blade, I'm going to pretend like it didn't happen and I'm going to be like, just pretend like I'm super tough and, uh, and you'll all be very impressed. There we go. So that's in place there. I could use another turn. No, this could use another turn. Okay. Now, it's basically putting the thing back together. Wait, maybe, maybe just, may well. There we go. There we go. Okay, stand by. Let's get this in here. I applaud your patience and your lack of other things to do in watching me do this because it could be maddening. It could be maddening just sitting here listening to me yammer and try and fill space whilst I put this thing together. All right, that's in there tightly, neatly and nicely. Get this in there. Body screw number two. All right, now, ordinarily, I carry a karambit with the clip on the other side so that I can draw it out of my pocket, and I will probably end, end up doing that. Uh, draw it out of my pocket so that it comes into reverse grip. Because, you know, karambits. All right. But for now, I'm just going to put these screws in here. I'll put one on each side. Because I think I'm actually going to do that setup, but I have to go find the left-handed clip. So, there we go. There's that, and there's that. Hey. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. So uh, you'll notice that it's uh, it adds a little bit of length to the pocket, I mean, <laughs> to the handle here, but I'm uh, I'm gonna be looking on Etsy for a, a loop over clip because I know there's a seller on there that Rob Penna turned me on to, and uh, and when that's all happening, this thing is gonna be only about that much out of pocket, just like any other karambit. Right now, it'll be that much out of pocket, like pretty much any other um, Recon One. 
Okay, last but not least, pocket clippage. Hopefully you've gone and gotten a beverage. Okay, there it is. New from Snaggletooth Tactical. It's the cog ring. Get it? Cog ring. And uh, actually, the cog shape of this ring is quite handy. Uh, as I said, I've had this on the on the knife before, and if you do any sort of flipping with a with a karambit, um, the cog shape allows you to uh, stop and have a real positive uh, grip on this on this end of things. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm quite uh, quite happy and grateful that Rob sent this along to me. He just dropped the product on um, March 30th, 2019. And uh, I think it is an excellent, excellent uh, addition to the to a knife that has the Snaggletooth MF on it. Now I'm gonna put the Snaggletooth MF on this knife, not in this video. I'm going to do a little bit of uh, carrying and testing, and then I'm going to do a quick video showing this knife with both products on it. There you go. There's the cog ring. Alrighty, guys, take care. Thanks for watching.